Jasmine. Let's have this. some some subscribe, please. Hello and welcome to the Australian Schoolboys Championship live from St Ignatius College Riverview. I'm joined here. My name is Patrick Folks, and I'm joined here by my co-commentator for today's first clash between Western Australia and New South Wales. Oh. Two. Marty Cambridge, uh, journalist for rugby.com. Are you, Marty? Welcome. Good morning. It's a pretty chilly morning here at St Ignatius College, but we're starting what is the this week-long championship here at, to, to 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 see who will be claimed the Australian Schoolboys Champion for 2017. Thanks for the introduction, Patty. Very happy to be here at St Ignatius at Riverview. And I guess you know the exciting part about a championship like this is we are looking at the at the future stars of Australian rugby, Paddy. There's so much talent on display over the next five days, and we're looking at our, our future Wallabies. Absolutely, this is obviously such a key part of the pathway to gold, future Wallabies, future seven stars, and I'm, I'm sure we'll see some plenty just good footy as well. Um, we've got Western Australia and uh, the New South Wales seconds team today. We'll just quickly run you through the sides. For New South Wales 2, we have Luke Edwards, Simon Rami, Joel Thomas, William Harris, Eck Lampert, Lapastri, Liam Cornish, Henry Whelan, Hunter Ward, David Chichek, Charlie Savla, Jaden Burgess, Harry Wilson and Angus Bell. And then on the right wing, we have Thomas Yasmin and in fullback, Harry Haywood. And for Western Australia, who are just making their way onto the field now, we have Victor Harris, William Tui, Tiago Valentim, Jackson Pugh, Liam van der Herden, uh, Manus Spannenberg, James Gray, Brody Mackerel, uh, Rhys Anapu, uh, Samuel Barsby, Walker Smith, Nika Mohu, Luke Capenny, Mason Hill, and in fullback we have Christian Bavadra. As both teams make their way into their starting positions. New South Wales 2 here to kick off, Marty. And uh, that dew that was around early this morning here in Sydney was 3 degrees when I woke up at 6 a.m. has seemed to have burnt off. So hopefully not too many drop balls, but you'd expect that might be a possibility in this first game. Looking forward to it, Paddy. We're about to get underway here. The referee blowing the whistle now, and off we go. And uh, we kick you off here between the two sides, and that's uh, out on the full. Nervous start there uh, by New South Wales schools. And that was Charlie Savla with the kick. Definitely not the start New South Wales 2 would have been after there, Paddy. Showing some early nerves here at Riverview College, but we get our first look at a set piece for the Australian Champ Schoolboy Championship for 2017. A scrum feed for the WA side on halfway. We know WA uh, proud of their scrums at all levels of the game. Let's see what the schoolboy side make of it. There's uh, WA, Reese Anapu going to feed the ball in. The men from the West, and good morning if you're watching from WA. It's obviously an early start for you over there. Very early over there. Howdy, so brewed a cup, cup of coffee. Something to tune into, no doubt. Can we just go across there? Let's There's uh, actually a lot of kids here today from the Catholic College over WA. We just got both props on this side. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, solid contingent. Half. Half back. Nice. No. Just on my left, please. Thanks. We pack down for the second scrum, just moving slightly off the centre of field. Hooks. Crouch. Bind. Sit. Ready. This is fed in by Reese Anapu. And that's a that's a good ball. WA looking to use the hands early. And solid run there by Nika Mohu gets a couple extra meters. Brought to ground but does lose the ball. And New South Wales have managed to pick that up very quickly. And we'll counter quickly. David Tajek looks to get the ball out. Good ball security by New South Wales too. And get this ball out. And that's Liam Cornish. It's a couple of extra metres. David Tajek. That ball's gone to ground. They'll have to regather quickly. And that's a good run by Thomas Yasmin. And here's a chance for New South Wales too. They throw the ball out wide early. Oh! And almost an intercept there by the Western Australian centre. The ball still in hand for New South Wales. Moving just inside WA's half, and they will own the full arm penalty. Brock informed. You mentioned at the start of the call there, Paddy. There was a bit of jury out of the Noticed there was a little bit of ball security issues to start. A couple of drop balls, a couple of slipping through the hands. 
as New South Wales 2 go for touch to, to work their line out from just outside the 22. Yeah, fly half Charlie Savala with that kick just outside the 22. And the ball goes into the back pod by New South Wales 2 and Tajek moves it into the middle of the field and that's a barnstorming run by Angus Bell. And it's just outside, just outside the red zone of WA. New South Wales keep the ball in hand. Good run there by hooker Simon Rami. Clear release. Another penalty. Points, Marty, would you go for the points here early? I think, Paddy, they probably would. I think, uh, you know, as we mentioned at the start, a couple of times now, the conditions are a little bit dewy, but they are going for the for touch here. They're confident in their set piece off the line. I like this style of footy. Very much so looking forward to seeing what they can create. The, the hooker, Simon Rame, heading towards the touch line now. Uh, let's see what they, can, what they can do off the back of the set piece. It's a good opportunity here for the New South Wales second side, and that's a good line-out take at the back. And they look to maul it at the moment. They keep it up the back, and here goes hooker Simon Rami from St. Aloysius College in Sydney. Just short of the line now, New South Wales 2. Get to the left, throw it in the centre. There's an opportunity here. They can move the ball. Ball's loose at the back, and that's to Jack has to pick it up. Slight knock on there, but it has been picked up by the referee. Play on. New South Wales. Throws an inside ball to Luke Edwards. And WA get the pilfer. Let's see if we can get a number on that, Marty. That was excellent work. Can't quite catch it there, Paddy. Uh, very, very good from the WA there, the defence. Manus Spakenberg. <laughs> Great pill for that. Samuel Barsby kicks that one into touch. So a relieving kick there by Western Australia. And New South Wales were looking. Yeah. Oh, out. Is that not straight? Not straight there, Paddy. Unfortunate there for the WA side. They haven't been able to get their hand on the pill much at all in these opening stages. It'll be a... Uh, a scrum to New South Wales too, just on their WA side of halfway. And a reasonable crowd here at uh, St Ignatius College Riverview in Sydney for this first game. Obviously the home side, one or two home sides here, the two New South Wales teams. And uh, not too bad for the start of school holidays on a Monday morning. So, uh, scrum. Going to be fed in by David Tajek. So another restart. And rugby.com.au will be bringing you all but two matches here live Fight. from the Australian Schoolboys Championship. Sit! Um, I'll certainly be able to catch all the finals action this Saturday coming. Matches obviously Wednesday and Fridays. WA wheel that scrum, but it's coming out on that left flank, the short side for New South Wales 2, and the forwards rumble there quickly to secure the ball. Here goes Rami. An excellent run. Getting off to the left-hand side, New South Wales go again, and this is a great run from New South Wales. They can keep the ball in hand. Still good, though. Despite the loose pass, Hunter Ward secures it at the back for his side. And goes over with the pilfer. This is looking better by New South Wales as they keep it on that short side. And here's a try scoring opportunity. Can he get over the line? Yes, he can. And that's the first try of this championship to New South Wales 2. Just have a look at the replay. But I think that was... We'll certainly look to get a number in a moment, but some absolutely enterprising play there, Marty, by New South Wales 2 out wide, keeping it in the hands and keeping it on the short side. They look a little bit too quick for the WA side at the moment, Paddy. They're just, as you said, they're moving the ball quickly uh, through the hands. The ball went to ground once there, but, yeah, just too quick and getting some quick ball from the breakdown and catching the catching the WA side, a couple of people short on that left-hand side. And that was Jaden Burgess who scores that first try, as we just see on out through the replay now. And uh, a good, powerful run there because the defence was coming at him. 
conversion from about five metres inside the touchline here. I think it's uh, Charlie Savala, the fly half for New South Wales too, taking this, this kick. Won't miss those boots today, Paddy. Nice and bright. <laughs> Solid kick. Oh, just to the left of the post. That's 5 0 uh, to New South Wales schools. Second side against Western Australia. The WA side will be pretty keen to get their hands on the ball here, Paddy. They've had next to no possession so far in this game. And uh, let's see if they can, they can regather the restart. So WA kick off. Samuel Barnsby restarting for the men from the West. That's a good hit by WA. They kick it over the top, New South Wales school, and that's out on the full outside the 22. So we will come back and a good opportunity, first real opportunity in the match. Marty for WA to show their wares. Great opportunity, Paddy. That's the second time now that New South Wales two have kicked the ball out on the full. Of course, with the the first restart of the game, they kick, kick off out in the full. But like you say, great opportunity for WA here to show us what they've got at the back of this set piece, just outside the 22. WA to the back pod, and here's a chance for the men from the west, and they throw the ball out wide quickly. Good inside pass, but now he throws the dummy, and that's an excellent run there by Luke Capani. Yeah. But a pill for there. Good work. Good work, Wales saves First the day. That was Henry Whelan. And uh, try saving Pilfer. Absolutely great Brody. run there from Luke Capani. Paddy. He would be very, um, very unhappy losing the ball there, the WA side. Bit of communication there between the referee and the Western Australian pack. And that ball's in for New South Wales too. They look to move it out into the centres. Here's a good short ball. And that's a fantastic run by Angus Bell. And he's, uh, ball's just been lost forward. First wide and then back. And he ran an excellent line. New South Wales still up by five points. Some really good signs from New South Wales here early, Paddy. They're just lacking that sort of 1% of it. You know, can keep that ball in hand. But so nine. Showing some really, really good early signs that some very good, good set piece up their sleeve. Crouch. Angus Bell just chatting to the referee, getting the offside Fines. line correct. He knows this ground pretty well being set. from St. Ignatius College. Steady. No. Steady! No. Nah, sorry. Just hold it, guys. We'll have another scrum reset. Yeah. <laughs> Shoulders up. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Crouch! Bind! Sit! It looks like it might be an early sub being about to be made by New South Wales too as we just look after our, our commentary position here, Marty. As WA look to get the ball out wide. Numbers here if they can move it quickly. But that's an excellent hit by New South Wales fullback Harry Haywood. Hit his man and hit him well. Great run there from the WA lock paddy Liam van der Hayden. WA keep the ball in hand. Get out of one tackle. Eventually brought to ground. That's an excellent run. Double way, looking not too bad with ball in hand once they get the ball moving. Victor Harris with the hit. And Napu. That's a big hit on Brody Macaril. Like a skill, rather. Victor Harris managing to just stay in touch, places the ball back. Anapu, WA, keeping the ball on the forwards at the moment. Now they look to get it out to the backs, and here we go. Ooh, get the fend on, bit of a don't argue, and WA now looking to expose some gaps out wide. 
Taco. Ooh, referee's seen something. High tackle. Head high tackle. It's the call. Where's your mark? WA is showing a bit of attacking flair there, Marty. And with the New South Wales defence uh, responding in kind. You can't say there's been anything less than running rugby here at the moment, Paddy. Both sides willing to throw the ball around uh, at leisure at the moment, going side to side. It's very good to see. Let's see, Harry, what, see what the WA side can, can do here. They're inside the 22 with the line-out. Very impressed by, with that early hit by Harry Haywood. Uh, from St Augustine's College in the northern beaches of Sydney from New South Wales 2. Solid early hit in defence as WA get them all on. They're starting to rumble the Western Australian forwards. They've taken it out of the backs, may have taken it just a fraction too soon. Look to get the ball out wide and create the mismatch and a potential overlap coming. But well hit in defence by Haywood. He's uh, hit his man well there. It's the New South Wales defence scrambles. Counter ruck here, Paddy. <laughs> We're seeing some real hits of Brian. Canner was fine. Harry, Harry, Harry. 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 Two big hits early on. Watch out for Harry Hayward. You don't want to come up against him at the Riverview College here today. He's, re he's ready, to, ready to put some hits on Paddy Harry Hayward. So still 5 0 with New South Wales 2 ladies okay, just joining us. I'm Patrick Folks. I'm joined here by Marty Cambridge from rugby.com.au. We will be live calling all but two games here from this Australian Schoolboys Championship this week. As we look to not only find the winner of this tournament, but also the Australian Schoolboys and the Australian Schoolboys Barbarians side will be picked for tests against New Zealand schools. New Zealand Barbarians later in the years. New South Wales 2 moving out wide, and that's a perfect hold. And here's Yasmin, who kicks over the top. Great run here. There's a potential opportunity if he can get the ball, but it's been rallied there by Western Australia. But that is end-to-end -end footy by New South Wales 2, and they're putting the pressure on on the Western Australian defence now on the try line. Just short. There's a mesh of bodies. Not sure who's come out on top. New South Wales still have the ball, and they go short. Hunter Ward calls for the ball. Holding up. Held up. Scrum. By Western Australia. But what a kick there by Yasmin to put the pressure on and absolutely, turn that around. Absolutely sensational, Paddy. Also good work by the Perth full, uh, the Western Australian. Full Balls above the ground. What's moving forward? By Vardra. Uh, he chased that back well. and uh, Just a little bit isolated there. The New South Wales two boys getting over the top of him just outside the try line, uh, causing that turnover. We'll see a scrum here to New South Wales too, five metres out from the Western Australian try line. Crouch! Bind! <laughs> Guys, so David to check. last warning, we need to hold the gap. We'll feed okay? the ball in. We're engaging it's creating instability. Nearhouse hold Park off a College second and then we'll engage, okay? Charlie Savala having a conversation there uh, with his inside centre. Remember every spell, remember us in Working a South back line. Working a playoff from here, Paddy. Yes. Bind! Sit! Hold! 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 Balls out. Gets an inside ball to Yasmin, who's met well by the defence. Manages to get the offload, and they're going to go back on that right hand side into traffic. Leave it, And Here comes a good pilfer by Western Australia, but they cleaned out. New South Wales too. And this is New South Wales two in the board. Let's keep it on the short work, side. Charlie. And here goes Rami. Just brought to ground. Oh, a huge hit there by the Western Australian defence. Certainly not going to die wondering. Hunter Ward wrestled to the ground. As he hunts for the, the right try line. Go to the right. Here goes Rami, throws a bad pass, and it's just going to scrap in a touch. Just should have had a bit more of awareness of where his outside man was. That excellent attack by right, this young New South Wales two side. WA will be looking to exit here, Paddy. They're under all sorts of pressure the last five minutes down their own try line. They'll be looking to get a good solid kick away and get some territory back. A few ominous clouds rolling in from the east as well, Marty. As, I, as we look over the trial line, as WA look to clear their lines. And that's a huge hit. WA have managed to hold on to it. And here's an opportunity if they can hold on to the ball. But we're going to have a penalty. I think that was playing the man from an offside position. Next 
Yep, offside. So Western Australia, the opportunity now to clear their lines. This is Sam Barsby, who may hit us up here in the commentary position and just manages to miss, which is nice of him. <laughs> this line out right in front of us here, Paddy. We'll be able to, we'll be able to check the straightness of this throw pretty well. Yeah, we will. Will Tui, <laughs> right in front of us. Yeah, he gets my tick, that's fine. And the ball's in for WA. Good attacking lines here if they can get the ball. Ooh. Western Australian fullback Christian Bavadra again under pressure, but he manages to get his way in. Here's WA on the right hand side, and this is a great run by Walker Smith. He's bundled into touch, but I tell you what, he has some wheels. A lot of gas shown there, Paddy. Just needed a couple of extra teammates side by side in support, and who knows what could have happened. But the WA side, not, not scared to throw the ball around at all in these in these stages of the game, Paddy. It's uh, no, no kicking the ball away here at the Australian Schoolboys Championship. Absolutely not. New South Wales 2. Get it into the centre of pod. Great line out there by the men from New South Wales in light blue. Not the sea blue colour. And here comes Haywood. Just met by a wall of WA defenders. Got to roll. Did not roll away. 12. Make an effort. to get out of there. So New South Wales, opportunity to attack, to the, attack for the corner. Captain, we need to change behaviour at the tackle and rough. Okay, we are contesting too often and giving so fire up the call from New South Wales. Okay, forward. talk to them. Referee just having a chat there. We'll I have to start escalating, Brody. Brody Marcus, yeah. Penalty count definitely in favour of the New South Wales side at the moment. Mackerskill showing he's got the skills with his performance already today. Scrum black. So we're going to have a scrum just outside the Western Australian 22. Really impressed thus far. Marty with uh, scrum half David to Jack. Crouch! Been very Certainly good start. Great right service from the breakdown. Set! Also, Steady! Steady! WA backs as well, Paddy. I, I wouldn't mind seeing them a little bit better field position, but I think they've got some good skills. 45 reset. Maybe a bit of drier footy. You might be seeing a little less uh, ball to ground, but they're certainly not afraid to throw up in the shoulder and have a crack. Players not the only ones hoping for the sun to come out, Paddy. The, the crowds are rugged up and we up here on the scaffolding are also turning blue. It is. Um, I'm always Crouch. worried about commentating on the weather Bind. from Sydney because there's four particular people from the nation's capital up tweeting me to let me know what Canberra weather is like. As the ball goes into the scrum. And that's a great feed by New South Wales and they've pinched that. Smashed into traffic. It's the New South Wales flanker, Henry Whelan. Well done by the New South Wales pack to secure that scrum. Here's to Jack. Oh, that's a huge hit. Victor Harris is helping out in that tackle. Ball goes out the back, rush up defence by Western Australia. If they can move it. Oh, and that's an excellent tackle. By Smith, Walker Smith. Ball still good for New South Wales. Good to go short side. Proved to be successful in the first minutes of this game. Keep, keep the ball alive at the back there. Forwards tumble in. Looks like that was from around the side. And yep, that's referee's going to have enough penalties. I just spoke to you. Hang on. Wait for him to leave the field, please. Time on. <laughs> Entry. So time back on. So we have a yellow card. Western Australian player just coming off the field. So W8 reduced to 14. So we edge closer towards half time. Still New South Wales 2 up 5. Western Australia 0.
That was James Gray receiving the yellow card there from WA, their flanker. Here comes New South Wales. Jaden Burgess there. Making some good meters. Oh, looks to throw the ball on the inside, and he does, but it's gone forward. Love the attempt, though. Slight hesitation, Paddy. He saw the, the man streaming through on the inside. Uh, he passed the ball maybe half a second earlier. He would have been under the sticks untouched. I was really hoping to bring out my go for the line man call, but unfortunately, too soon. Too soon. Plenty, plenty of time, Paddy. Plenty this is time. Game, game one, one, game one of the week. <laughs> Plenty of time That's for you to get out all your signature game. trademark calls from the top of the scaffold, mate. <laughs> it's just blatant plagiarism, really. <laughs> Bind! So, Set! It's the last two, five, Steady. Western Australia, zero. Of course, w WA missing one play from the scrum. With the yellow cards already. New South Wales, two. Leave it to play. Jack has managed to steal that for the home side. Ball comes slowly, no nine. The ball in the middle. Good offload there. New South Wales 2 just need to hold it. They got an opportunity. Here's a chance for the try. Yeah. And there it is. Harry Wilson with the try for New South Wales 2. Try. And that takes the score to 10-0, Marty, with a kick to come. A great offload there to Harry Wilson, Paddy. I thought he might have bushed it there. He had about three guys open on the left-hand side, but he decided to step back inside and go himself. And, uh, New South Wales now ahead 10 at nil. Paddy making the most of that one man advantage with James Gray in the sin bin with the yellow card. A great step on the inside by, uh, by Wilson there. Yes, um, please, thank you. Caught the defence going the other way, managed to find the inside line and create the spaces. Seem to have New South Wales play with a bit of a cork. It's the try scorer, I think, Paddy. Yeah, it is Harry Wilson. Cops are not going over the line. You can't say that try wasn't coming though, Paddy. The, the New South Wales 2 team definitely been the more dominant side so far this opening game as Charlie Savala knocks over the conversion. So the New South Wales 2 side now leaving now leading, sorry, 12-0. So Charlie Savala with that conversion, and that takes the score to New South Wales 12, WA 0. As we restart here. And well taken by New South Wales. And that was Simon Rami's. Had a reasonable game here for the home side, and that's been dropped. He's had a look. There was no one around him. Mason Hill just took his eyes off the ball for a second. And in these dewy early morning conditions, Marty, it's probably not the best idea to be taking your eye off the ball. And I don't think in, in any conditions, keeping your eye on the ball is probably oh, ideal, Paddy. Oh, look, that's actually, that's fair analysis there. And that's why you're here, Marty. They've been, your expert commentary. They've been, uh, they've been their own worst enemy so far in this first half, WA. Crouch. And they do have the ball. They show some good skills, but they're just uh, handing over possession too easily to a pretty slick New South Wales two-side. Yeah, penalty to New South Wales. WA players are offside. Oh, this is a brilliant run. Hold, hold, 10, 10. Well done by New South Wales' Liam Cornish. And the ball's there, right? For another opportunity for the try. They're going for the corner. And that was Angus Bell. Ball still good for New South Wales, too. Throw the shot ball, and here's an opportunity. And he's got, got it down. Fantastic effort by New South Wales to brilliant ball by fly half Charlie Savala. I think that was Edward Pullman there, Paddy. That crossed no, three just minutes, next Kent. to the sticks. Hopefully we can get a confirmation on that. Yeah, Savala's inside pass. Just creating that little gap. New a South great. Wales starting to tighten the screws on this match just before half-time, Marty. An excellent run from Hunter Ward there, really set the platform for that for that try, Paddy. He was a barnstorming run from the number eight, as you as you mentioned uh, during the call. 
New South Wales 2 are now ahead. 15. 15? That's right, 17 now. With a kick to come. And that kick is successful, so that takes the score to New South Wales 2. 19. Western Australia 0. And the conversion to New South Wales takes them out to 19 points to nil. Tried by Ed Poolman in number 12, substituting. And the conversion. So Western Australia to restart. And that's been spilt by the WA side who aggressively went for that one, and you've got to when you're 19 nil down. Oops, sorry, buddy. Yeah, Jackson Pugh there one leaping stop. through the air. From the from the restart, he got two good hands to it. It was um, he'd probably expect himself to do better in that situation. So we're not too long to half time. Just less than two minutes. Can WA get some points before half time and give him a sniff going into the second half? Okay. I mean, this is an important clash in Pool B. New South Wales 2, Queensland 1, ACT and WA battling it out to see all top Pool B. Set! Steady! Ball is fed in. Oh, that scrum's gone really high. Driving up. The referee had to act quickly there. Player safety obviously paramount. Luke Capani. Just having a chat to his backs. Bell with a solid kick there, but it's been taken quickly by Western Australia. And here's an opportunity. <laughs> and that could. Is it going to be a card? Come off. Deliberate slap down. See you like card. Referee reaches for the pocket there, Paddy. Shows him the cheese. The cheese is given. This way for him. It's a real tough one because he was going for the intercept yeah, the there. Time up. Deliberate knock down. You're king for touch. So Angus Bell brings the game to 14 men apiece. So can WA make something of this? Will Tui. Got the number. It's Western Australia go back to a compliment of 15. So here's an opportunity That's now. Come on. Yeah, okay, we're John back Martin on. Stewart coming on, Paddy. His first involvement in the game so far. Bill Tui with the throw. It's over. And it's taken by New South Wales too. And that's a brilliant opportunity here for the home side. Henry Whelan with that run. He's done well. New South Wales too. Oh, another pilfer. Not well, releasing there, Paddy. If you want grown up watching David Pocock, haven't they? They can, all, they can all dive into a breakdown without fear. Of course, here at the Australian Schools Championship, we are seeing the next generation of those Wallaby superstars such as David Pocock, Paddy. Sam Barsby with the boot, not his best kick. But does find touch. Really important for the WA side to get on the board here, Paddy, in the first half. They're trailing 19-0 at the moment. They are a man up with Angus Bell sitting on the sidelines with a yellow card. It's points before half-time. Could do them the world of good. Goes over the top. Good for WA. Here's Barsby with the show and go and gets the offload. Here's an opportunity for WA. Kick for the corner. The chase is on. Where's the bounce going to go? Oh, and that's been lost forward by Knock WA. <laughs> half time. That'll be half time. What an absolutely frantic end of the first half. WA having a crack. So it's New South Wales 2, 19, Western Australia 0. Martin Cambridge, sure. what did WA need to do in the You're second half to bring this back in? And push I need to hold on to the ball, I think, Paddy. I think uh, they've just had no possession. I haven't got the stats with me, but I'd love to see them. New South Wales 2 with all the ball so far in the first half. They've looked good, the WA side, when they have had ball in hand. Nick Morahu there with a great opportunity, just spilling the lollies as he was diving over the line. No doubt it was a hard, hard ball to take, but uh, yeah, just if they can hold on to the ball a little bit more and get some more possession. 
Well, a cracker second half is coming up, and you can join us back here, myself, Patrick Folks, with Martin Cambridge, both from rugby.com.au. Wherever you've been streaming us, thanks for joining us. Don't go too far. We'll be right back. Excuse me, gents. Go grab a bottle. We'll be right back Thank you. Uh, after this brief break. These championships, sponsored by Ausbill, are supported strongly by the ARU in finances, personnel and resources. Other supporters of Australian Skills Rugby include RUPA, the Rugby Union Players Association. Hi there, Elliot Green from the Women's Sevens. Welcome to the new rugby.com.au. There's plenty to see, so let's check it out. Alrighty, the homepage, where all the magic happens. Heaps of news and videos from all across the rugby globe with Super Rugby, Wallabies, European and of course, Sevens all right here. How about we go have a little look at how the ladies went in Atlanta. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The girls have done it again. Three straight titles as we hunt for gold in Rio. Now let's see how the final against New Zealand went down. Go Charlotte! As you can see, all the latest from Atlanta, and well done to Emma Tonegato for taking home the boot as best player. What a trophy! Alright, now of course, all the Wallabies and Super Rugby news is here, but I know what you came here to see, and that's me, so let's go check out the profiles. So we got a team page for all our professional Aussie rugby teams, with news, videos, fixtures, and then player profiles. Check me out. <laughs> wow. Undoubtedly the team's biggest character. I'm honoured, guys. All right, all right. Enough about me. We have plenty of cool people joining the rugby.com.au team. We got Phil War, Owen Finnegan, as well as Wallaroos and Seven Star, my mate Shannon Parry, and heaps more. And what's even better, it looks pretty snazzy on mobile and tablet devices. The governing body stuff is still around. Head to aru.com.au for that. And for all your community rugby needs, like play rugby, coaching, and referee related stuff, head to aru.com.au slash community rugby. So what's rugby.com.au? Well, it's your one-stop shop for all rugby news, highlights, and opinion. Anyway, I'll let you go exploring, because you'll see plenty of me on the site. Let's go, Ozzy. Welcome back to this first game of the Australian Schools Championship live from St Ignatius College in Riverview in, uh, in Sydney and uh, my name is Patrick Folks, I'm joined by Marty Cambridge, if you're just joining us, welcome. It's, uh, it was just had the first half here of the first game between New South Wales 2 and Western Australia and New South Wales home side up 19 points to 0 at half time. Marty Cambridge, my co-commentator and host of Tux Tips. As we restart, that's taken by New South Wales and a solid tackle. 
there. <laughs> Penalty to WA. First man on the ball. Great start there to WA, Paddy. They need some early points in this second half. Uh, remembering as well that Angus Bell, the outside centre for New South Wales 2, is currently sitting on a yellow card and he'll be out for about the first five or six minutes of this second 40. Now, cool conditions here in Sydney today. Around 10 degrees and it's certainly... Uh, I always think it's colder every time I come to Iggy's, but at least three degrees, so we'll call it a fair seven. That coffee cart over on the far side of the ground will be doing good trade well, today, Paddy. I'm looking forward to the barbecue firing up, mate. That's where I, that's where I really shine, as you well know. But we have here a line-out, attacking line-out for WA, and that's Tui. It's the ball into the back point, WA forwards roll over the top. Need to take advantage of the man down West Australia if they want to have a crack in this game. Changing lines. A bit of truck and trailer there by the looks of it. Changing lines, new more. Kicker, kicker. Just another kicker. example in this game so far, Paddy, of WA getting front foot ball and just not being able to capitalise. They've just been making errors inside the attacking 22 since, since the start of this game. Ooh, and that's been pinched by WA. Little sneaky offload that no one expected. Someone's got to hold on to it. There we go. WA now with the ball. To get the ball on the outside, and that was a great run by Luke Capani. Eventually wrestled to the ground. He's been taken around the net. High. Too slow. Referee Too slow. eventually spotting that. Yeah, sure. Samuel Barsby going for touch here. They're looking to get this kick inside the 22 and build off the set piece. A great kick there, buddy. A very good kick there by the Western Australian 10. He's done well for his side today. He's going to expose the pace. The Western Australian backs out wide. Oh, the little cheeky short ball has it. Oh, and it has cost them. Sometimes it's good just to, just to stick to script. Absolute coach killers here at the moment, Paddy WA. <laughs> just. New South Wales 2 with the line out. Guys, that's that a few sucks at half time yeah. as well, because that's Will Bremner. That's on shoulder. Let's go, that in for New South Wales yep. 2. You won't be very happy with that from throw, Chats Paddy. Yeah, please, thank you. Not straight. Front row, yeah. Okay, guys, so Scrum we're working to WA. on stability. Shoulders up and just hold before we get the engagement. About 15 okay, metres yeah. out as they look for their first points of the game. Crouch. Find. Go hard, Sammy. Sit. Ready. 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 New South Wales have declared their lines on the counter. Gets out of one tackle, brought down eventually. Solid run there by Mack. Western Australia keep the ball in hand. There's Mason Hill with the run before. They go to the right hand side and having another crack here, Western Australia. Tiago Valentini. Or Valentim, rather. Off the deck. It's gone backwards though. Barnsby throws it wide. Here we go. An opportunity here for WA if they can move it out wide. Ball's loose. Knock on. And it's been knocked on. An opportunity here for, for Liam Vander Hayden to yeah, put his fine, left I'll boot wait. back on. Now he lost that about five minutes ago, Paddy, and was Knock chasing on, him around right. with a sock on. I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> here he goes now, getting that from, hey. from Rame. Yeah, we do have Angus Bell. Just getting himself ready to re-enter the field of play after his yellow card um, for a knockdown on okay. a WA ball. He was very good, Paddy, in that, in that opening stand. He is very good. Bell. Strong, powerful five, outside five. center. Hard right. to believe he's still in go, school fellas. now that he's actually this close to us. But <laughs> he's he's not, a, he's he's actually, actually probably ball. could hear us. Hmm. Um, 
Crouch. So Western Australian, sorry, New South Wales scrum. Yeah, early. A little quick penalty. It's a little show and go there. In New South Wales, that was Dominic Easy. And that's been pilfered by Western Australia. Not sure how they did that without playing the ball on the ground, but they managed to secure it. John Martin well, Stewart with the pilfer before Paddy. Did very well holding his, holding his feet over the top of that break. Captain. Captain. Yeah. Matthew Steed just copying a penalty there from the referee. Talk to the guys, not start escalating. Referee giving a talk there to the, the prop Offside. for New South Wales to Angus Bell. Two Angus Bells in the New South Wales two side, Paddy. Doesn't make our job any easier up here Thank you. in scaffolding. <laughs> uh, dare I say the bells are ringing. Wow. Very early. <laughs> for, very early for course on that, Paddy. I retract it. <laughs> so, William Tui looks to throw it in for WA. Oh, he's just he's overstepped. Though. He's overstepped and he's done a dummy with the throw. Neither of which you can do. <laughs> he's broken two quick laws in that throw in. And the ball's good for New South Wales too. And this is a great run here. Yeah, excellent work there by replacement Will Bremner. New South Wales too getting out to the backs. And that's a very solid run by Angus Bell. Eventually brought to the ground. Goes to the right hand side. That's good for New South Wales. Strong hit there by the outside centre from WA. Well, he that. rushed up and put a lot of pressure on there. I thought it had been called for a knockout. Harry Haywood looked like he was about to make some space as well there, Marty. Harry Haywood, Paddy, yeah, we've seen guys. him put on some big hits in defence in that first half. I haven't seen him with much of the ball in hand, though. Would have been good to see him there hold on to that pill. Sit! Steady! Big scrum. Ball's good for New South Wales, and here we go. This is a great run by New South Wales flanker, Matthew Steed. And just a lost ball again. Both teams just needing to hold on to that ball just a little better, Marty, and things will open up for him. Neither side being clinical in possession here in the second half, Paddy. It's been a, a scrappy start to the second 40. Of course, the New South Wales two sides still leading 19-0 over the WA side. Where are you to go? Crouch, bind, sit, none. Excellent scrum there by New South Wales too. This is Savalo. With the ball. Leave it! So it was Dom Easy. All goes to the right hand side. Well held there. Ball still good for New South Wales, keeping it up the back. This is Finn Wright. WA looking for the pilfer, but just being unable to find it as Angus Bell gets a couple extra metres from side. And again, that dew, certainly with the sun gone now, Marty, it's uh, sheltering behind that cloud there. It's, the dew's not burning off as fast as I'm sure both teams would like. I've got a message. No, a few handling errors, that's for sure. Paddy okay. really making this game yeah. stop start. But as they go to feed yeah, the scrum, sure. we can see over a, from our broadcast position the ACT team photo, Paddy. They're, of course, up next against Queensland 1 here at St. Ignatius Riverview College. If you are around, uh, feel free to pop on Crouch. and watch the games. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere across Sit. the week. And as you mentioned, Marty, uh, important part, some of these players... New South Wales 2 go to the right hand side. We'll come back to that in just a minute. A little offload. But just didn't go to hands. Right idea there by Haywood. And we could just hear there the New South Wales 2 forwards yelling out, don't force anything. And I think that's been definitely on show so far in this game. Just players really you know, forcing that ball. Uh, but fortune does favour the brave. As uh, Western Australia just trucked that up through the middle of the line out. Uh, 
WA looking to edge their way out of their 22. Barnsby with the kick. And here we go, New South Wales. This is Yasmin who can have a crack now. And I like the look of him in open space, but he's lost the ball. So now WA have an opportunity through Victor Harris who gets a couple extra metres. New South Wales wrestling to get that ball. But, uh, no advantage from that knock on there, Paddy. The referee bringing it back from the, the Yasmin knock on. He's flying, Scrum. standing onto that ball, and I think he was probably trying to look for an offload, but just uh, looked for the offload as he got hit, and unfortunately lost the ball. 19 0, New South Wales 2 leading Western Australia, and you're listening to us live on rugby.com.au. We're bringing you Crouch. all games but two of this championship live. Throughout the week, Sit. Yes, nine. games on today, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. You can catch the draw on rugby.com today. You, in fact, if you're watching this, you probably can see the draw on your screens. And the ball's been forward dropped, pass. we had a forward pass. So just falling in front of the hands of Walker Smith, and he's forward outstretched pass, fingertips. That old adage, you've got to go forward before you can go wide, Paddy. But neither team really willing to do that so far in this game. They, like we've been saying for most of the call here, they've been willing to, to try and play some running rugby, but it's just not not working at the moment for either side. Crouch. Bind. Sit. I'm ready. 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 So scrum here by New South Wales too, and that's a quick ball there from the New South Wales Welsh. Very flat pass. But the ball's come good. Nice little light fingertips, but the ball's gone back. It's going to have to recover quickly. And that's knock easy. Yeah, he certainly on. made things hard for himself. Another knock on Paddy from New South Wales there. We're First. going to have a Western Australian scrum. Sorry, Marty. Uh, right in the middle of the field. The first side to hold on to the ball here, Paddy. For more than three phases. Uh, should get a prize. <laughs> Yeah, it is very dewy conditions as the sun starts to come out. Crouch! Very important clash and pull B for this one. Sit! Tough pull as well. Obviously, Queensland won and the ACT in the side. Both expect the Queensland first side to be very strong. Both Queensland teams to be very strong. The ACT knows how to produce talented rugby players. Let's be with the kick. That's a better kick. Oh, but it's just not made touch, so I've jinxed that one for him. South Wales with the ball on the inside. Very good with the ball in hand with the short offloads from South Wales. We need to adjust the conditions as they go to the short side and there's space outside. And here's Yasmin. He's got wheels. Can he go all the way? He's tripped himself up and brought. Just short of the 22. Five. WA five. may have pinched this with an excellent pilfer. That was desperate defence, but a great run there by New South Ball. Wales. The men from the West look to clear this out, but they're going to have to create a scoring opportunity soon. Oh, that's not a great pass, and this is going to put pressure on WA's fullback. The ball is loose. They're begging this try to be scored Backwards. by New South Wales. Happy? Yep. <laughs> and there that is, is a try. So New South Wales getting the points. Oh, WA just unable to clear their lines. Probably a bit of fatigue coming in for the Western Australian players. They've had to defend a lot in this match, particularly in the second half. And they're starting to play the scoreboard in the time of it here, Paddy. I think... Uh, they were trailing 19 0 before that and they forced a few passes. And um, yeah, paid the price. So 24 0. New South Wales leading. Finn Wright, the try scorer. And we've got Dom Easy. Dominic Easy. Another lad from St. Ignatius College, so he knows this kicking position quite well, no doubt. 
That is a solid conversion. Black dot that that takes the score to New South Wales 226. Western Australia yet to score. Moves the score out to 26. WA with some replacements of their own. Grayson Makara coming on in jersey number 23. Another player for Aaron Moore Catholic from Aaron Moore Catholic College. Sorry. Ball's good for New South Wales. WA have managed to clean it up. It's an attacking opportunity from the men, WA. Just looking for that hole. Played him. Oh, playing the ball from an Three, you play a man without the ball. Position. Yep. Oh no. Tackled without the ball is the call. Playing a man without the ball, number three, White. Barsby. If you're watching this from Western Australia, oh, has that ball made touch? No, that's the second time it hasn't made touch. That is crucial by Barsby. Would have given his side an attacking opportunity, but here come the men from New South Wales. The forwards rumble in to secure the ball. Hands will do it here for New South Wales. They can spread it wide. Managed to draw in that play well. Excellent run there by Finn Wright, the try scorer. WA have pinched this again. Short ball. Just need to stay in the field of play, which they can't do. That was Grayson Makara with his first touch of the football today. Bumbling into touch. So. Line out is taken in by New South Wales too. They get that into the back and they maul it up. That's an excellent five, six, seven metres now by the New South Wales two side. Use it once is the call, but the ball's still moving. They've gone 10 metres now. It's a great maul. Finn Wright throws the ball to the backs. New South Wales two, and now he's away. He's an opportunity. Dominic Easy with a very small kick over the top. He's to get his man. And that's Angus Bell, who's tackled the player just 13. too high. You've already been to the bin, okay? Be careful, please. You're lucky there, because the WA fly, player was a very tackle. low centre of gravity as he turned that corner to try and get out of trouble. This one's coming straight for us, Paddy. <laughs> WA still looking for their first points in this game. Sebrame with the line out throw. Well, that's a very flat ball in the middle of the field. It needs to be picked up, and that's a knock on. That was Nika Mohu. Knock on, scrum. Unfortunately, just couldn't grab that one. It was a very flat, fast pass as well. Uh, we have 11 to go. Eleven. Crouch. Bind. Let's call, let's call. Set. So Marco Bell feeds this scrum in for New South Wales. No, it's good service in the back of the ruck to, to scrum to easy. And here's an opportunity for New South Wales too. Can he get the ball to Bell? Dominic Easy kicks through for himself. Can he get it? WA looked like come away with it. And that's a try that's gone begging. Hold! Barsby kicks. He's gonna, is he going to get a bounce? But here's Haywood. It's been great today for New South Wales. It's out of one tackle. Ooh, playing advantage for a high shot to New South Wales too. Bell. 
Don't stop the call from the sideline. New South Wales is coming along with that one. Coming back for the penalty for the high shot. Been very impressed with uh, with Dom Easy and Ed Pullman since they've come on for New South Wales too, Paddy. They look really, really slick when the ball gets out to the backs. Angus Bell. He's kicked that one into the gully. straight over the fence. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's one, for the, one for the kids to go and right, find. Write that one off. <laughs> So here we go. This is Will Bremner. And the ball gets back to New South Wales too. And they take it to the right-hand side. They're just short of the goal line now. They go to the left. New South Wales asking lots of questions here of WA's defence. Leave it. Take a step. Bell. Gets the ball out to the right. Here's Easy. Easy throws it off the top to Bell again. And here comes Yasmin for the corner. Can he get there? Yes, he can. And clearly he likes his fly half because he's made that kick a lot easier. So excellent work there by New South Wales. That was Thomas a, Yasmin with the try. A really, really slick move there, Paddy. Again, Angus Bell in that 13 jumper. That pass left to right, straight on to Yasmin, who steamed through. He's threatened to score tries basically all morning. Uh, Tom Yasmin just uh, hadn't got one until now. And yeah, like I said before, I mean, the, the substitutes for New South Wales too have been sensational. Dom Easy, Edward Pullman, uh, and yeah, Angus Bell with, the, with that pass to, to Tom Yasmin. We just saw on the replay there how strong and powerful his legs are. Um, certainly got wheels there. A really big back line too for New South Wales too, Pat. If you have a look at their at their back line, Angus Bell, Tom Yasmin, really, really big schoolboys. Obviously, New South. This is the the second side. New South Wales won, obviously, to play later today. Dom Easy lines up this conversion about 12 metres in from touch on the right hand side of the sticks. Referees like it, Paddy. Now they extend their lead by another two points. So that's 33 nil. New South Wales 2 leading WA. Score probably not a fair reflection of how hard WA have tried in this match. Just haven't been able to finish the attacking opportunities off. Less than 10 minutes left now in this game, Paddy. was hope CWA get on the scoreboard before full time. Matthew Steed taking that up. Here comes Bell. Ball's up the back. Easy with the pass on the back to Bell. And that ball's been lost backwards. But it's a touch. No, oh, no, knock on. Got the knock on call from the assistant referee. I didn't see behind my shoulder there. So not long to go in this match. Thanks. Marty and obviously they're silent, they're silent. WA can't win it, but let's what would they be able to do? Let's let's just a, just Thank you. Try and make it just watch shoulders up for me. The backs, as we've said in the first half, the backs look slick yep. when they get the ball. They're just, uh, Keep it up. Yeah, there's been, been too many knock ons, uh, but hopefully a good back line move and uh, maybe number 13, Luke Capane, can cross in the corner. Bind. They feed the scrum now. Set. So WA with the ball at the back. A little flat ball. That's a great run by Western Australian Grayson Makara. Vantage over. Here's Bell. Hands will do it for New South Wales and they've created space. And here comes Haywood and he's motoring down the wing. He's got Mammon on the inside. He gets it to Bell and he's going to run away and score. And that's a very well worked move by New South Wales too. We finally saw the clinical finish we've been wanting from this side. And that was a brilliant try from the home team. The crowd up on their feet after that one, Paddy. That was a very, very, very nice try. 
Stangwitz Bell crossing under the sticks. That 10 minutes on the sideline gave him a little bit of extra energy uh, to get under the post there. Also great to see Harry Haywood with some open air in front of him. Uh, we saw him put, it, put on a few big hits in the first half. We were waiting to see him with the ball in hand and a beautiful inside pass uh, to Angus Bell who crossed under the sticks. Hard to see Dom Easy having any problem with this conversion, Paddy. And we'll see the New South Wales two side up 40 nil with not many minutes remaining in this first game of the Australian Schools Championship. And he has slotted that one. Third goal to Dominic Easy takes the score to 40. Third goal today. Third conversion. So with about four or five minutes left to play. New South Wales go further ahead and assert their superiority in this game to the tune of 40 points. It's not long to go in this match. And uh, as I've just discovered, Marty, with that breeze picking up here on the top of the scaffolding, there's a bit of wind circling. Yeah, ball was played from an offside position, accidental offside. So pack it down for a scrum. Backwards off them. No, I'm just off here. Dispatch just getting ready to rumble. Despite being 40 nil up, the New South Wales side still. Uh, you know, very revved up. The We're backs that giving the forwards and the coach when coming into this you know. Of course. Big 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 a lot of players want to prove again. Obviously, obviously still make the... Uh, Jordy, same again. Tap, 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 boys. Side from any side crouch! And New South Wales two players know that Boys. there's a potential jersey Set. for selection later on in the year. Steady. Ready. Ready. So just because you're not in the ones doesn't mean anything. There's a great scrum there by New South Wales. And they've kicked that downfield. It's just gone into touch. And that was Bell. Disappointed. No, that was Marco Bell. It was Marco Bell. Disappointed with That's himself, Marco Bell. Bell. The bells could be ringing, Paddy. You could have been right <laughs> up there. I apologise. Uh, apologise for that early on in the call. Yeah, that wind certainly picking up. And Bell. Oh, he's well met in the tackle there. WA. Have they pinched us? No, they haven't. Still good for New South Wales. Good clean out there. New South Wales back. Moving it into the middle of the field. Now they go to that right hand side, and here's Easy. Steps off his right and then goes back in on his left. Makes a couple meters and rolls. The New South Wales forwards will need to get there. It's Leave not it. good okay. ball. And Barsby's been great there for WA. New South Wales go to the right through Bell. Bell to Bell. Bell throws an inside ball to Easy, and Easy manages to pick it up. Still good for New South Wales. No knock on. Bell. And that's a great run there by Finn Wright. It's a couple extra metres. About 40 metres out from the WA goal line. Brought to the ground now. WA defence holding firm here, Paddy. Oh, good hold and absolute ripper pass there to Liam Cornish. Goal goes to Easy, who's hovering up the back. It kicks through. WA defence. <laughs> yeah, yeah thank you. Funny, but we'll come back one. to the penalty. So, oh, the second one's here. Captain. Captain. Penalty here or penalty here. You've got two infringements. Thank you. Offside. Black two. <laughs> so they're going to kick for the corner. So New South Wales, can they finish this game with a try before the end? So quick inside ball off the line out there by New South Wales too. Nothing better than a well rehearsed line out move coming off. It's WA attempt to counter ruck this. They're putting pressure and they've pinched it. It's excellent work by WA. And they just knock the rest of the New South Wales forwards out of the way. And Barsby with the kick. Oh, He's going to get the bounce. Oh, and it's just gone into touch. Jaden Burgess just couldn't hold on to that one. It's a tough one to take, in fairness. I've got time. You got time? Yeah. 
Jaden Burgess hailing from Kalara High School. And that's full time here in the first game of the Australian nice Schools Championship between New South Wales 2 and Western Australia. New South Wales 2 winning the match. So the referee, Mr. Drew 33 nil. Blows full time. And that's the first match of this tournament gone. We will be back here live on rugby.com today in just a moment. Um, it was a, certainly an entertaining match between these first two sides. Jaden Burgess, Harry Wilson, Angus Bell, the number 13, Angus Bell. We'll get Thomas some comment Yasmin, here from Ed Coolman. Three goals to Dominic Easy. Players post match. Two goals to Charlie Savala, making up their 40 points. Congratulations to both sides on their effort. Both teams working hard today. Important the match referee, in the, the Battle of Pool B. Spectators are reminded that the playing days are Wednesday and Thursday of this week. The same game times as today. Both games are on the first one at 10, 11, 30, 1 o'clock and 2.30. Both teams clap each other off. Finals will be on Saturday morning. Games will be starting at the crack of dawn. Let's we'll see if we can grab a word with the presentation one of the players. The that the Australian teams will take place on the Saturday, commencing at 1:30 p.m. in the Ramsey World here. So plenty of action here to come from the championship. Australian Schools Rugby Union. I'd like to thank um, Ospil for the Australian Schools Rugby Union hosting this tournament here in partnership with the Australian Rugby Union. And also. Rugby.com today, you'll be bringing you these matches live. With finances, All but two games together with uh, our across, the, across the week. You get the fixtures on rugby.com today, you. But uh, we'll be back for the next match, the not too distant future. So make sure you stay here on rugby.com today for all the matches here today. And I've been Patrick Folks, joined by Marty, with Marty Cambridge, and we'll see you soon. here today in these championships. Game two will be at 11.30 a.m. and will be between Queensland first 15 and ACT. Good managers of the previous game. Return their reports there to the Father Mac Pavilion. Be reminded that there is a scoreboard with results and progress points on the side of the Father Mac Pavilion. You're also reminded that all games this week are being live streamed on rugby.com.au.